She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show, and thank you so much for joining us today. You know that every day we challenge you about your personal definition of success. 27 years ago, I was a lost 19-year-old kid who had no future ahead of her. I'd spent most of my life suicidal. I grew up in a violently abusive, drug-infested home, a place where they're supposed to be nurturing. There was none. Tons of rejection, violence, being grabbed by the throat, shoved up against walls, kicked across the room. I grew up in a place where there was just darkness and fighting constantly, whether it was my mom being punched in the face or my sisters or myself being dragged by our hair across the room, kicked across the room by a giant man who was 350 pounds and 6 feet 10 inches, nearly 7 feet tall. I was not a person who had a vision for myself. And you might find yourself in that same place. But here on The Danny Johnson Show, we help you to define or redefine success that fits you, fits your personality, fits your lifestyle, what matters to you, what's important to you. And when I first heard about the business community 27 years ago, I was introduced by a boyfriend of all things. And I met a completely different people, a people who thought different, who asked different questions, who lived different, people who had some peace. (laughs) I'm not saying all business people have peace. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is they introduced me to completely different concepts than the ones that I grew up with. And I'm so very grateful to my friend John, who we are still friends to this day, for the impact that he had on my life all those years ago. It got me to think, how do I want to live my life? And why do I want to live my life different? Well, initially, my why was clearly that I didn't want to be like my parents. I didn't want to be broke financially. I didn't want to be that person who was in debt. I I didn't want a, a toxic marriage. I didn't want abuse in my life. My biggest dream was to get married to a guy that wouldn't abuse me or my children. That was the big dream. That was the big goal. And that really wasn't that big of a dream. But I was challenged through the years being in business and became very, very successful following some simple little strategies that have worked all these years, have not only worked for me, but have worked for millions of people around the world. And I believe that they will work for you as well. Today's show is going to challenge you in a new way. We're also going to hear from some people that are viewers of The Danny Johnson Show and a part of the community of destinyglobal.com, which is a website and a community. It's an environment that fills people with the right kind of tools to help them cut through the crap in their life that is stopping them from success tools to be able to build the kind of successful life financially or career or business, marriage or raising a family or even your health. Destiny Global knows that you have a destiny. We know that everybody around the globe has a destiny and we want to have just a little part in helping to pull that out of you, to help you find a path for yourself for whatever that dream is that is in you, or if there is no dream, to maybe challenge you and ask you questions that cause you to start to dream or being around a community of people who are dreaming. And just by hanging out with those people, it causes you to dream. I don't know what community you're hanging out with, but birds of a feather flock together. Are the people you're flocking with annihilating their debt in record time, becoming debt-free in five to seven years, including their mortgage? Is the community of people you're hanging out with increasing their income year by year, becoming more valuable in the marketplace? Is the people you are hanging out with, are they then taking a portion of that money and giving it to those who cannot feed themselves? You know, like orphans, they have no mother, they have no father. Taking care of the elderly, the sick, the massively extreme impoverished, instead of just being straight up greedy and buying more and more stuff that never satisfies them, Is that the community you're hanging out with? That's the community that we are. We are a community of people who are living life with a purpose. We're a community that has said poverty stops here. 
We're a community who said that our families come first. We're a community who said that we live for high moral standards in the best possible way that we can and the best way that we can understand them. We are a community of advocates, a people who believe in the disadvantaged, who believe in those who've been kicked across the room and shoved aside. We are a community of advocates who believe that no matter how many failures you've had, whether it's 17 divorces or 17 business failures, you're accepted right here in this community. We're a community of advocates who believe that there is more for you than you even realize, and we're going to help you get it. We believe in learning new skills. We believe in honoring one, ach- one another. That's a community that we are, and we are a community that gets results. I don't know what birds you're flocking with, but you might want to tap into this community who is working towards bettering themselves and bettering all those that are around them. And we'll leave the world better than when they first inherited their little portion of it. Where do you find these people? And various different places. For sure, we all gather together about every four to eight weeks at a live training seminar like First Steps to Success in Creating a Dynasty, various different webinars, but on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, at Danny Johnson Live, that's D-A-N-I Johnson Live is where you can find us there, or the website, dannyjohnson.com or destinyglobal.com. So today we're going to talk about something really important that I learned about 27 years ago, and I was so happy that somebody asked me this question. What they pointed out is that there needed to be a why behind what I did, that what I did has no meaning unless I know why I do it. Recently, I happened to be in a, in a director's meeting, kind of a board meeting, if you will, and uh, an associate that is not a part of the company that I work with, they brought up this video about your why. And it's by Simon Sinek. It was a TED Talk. I encourage you to find that particular video. Uh, in fact, I presented that video in front of 1,200 people just last weekend because it was it impacted me. It reignited something in me again. Because you can learn something. You could be living that thing and forget to show other people what that thing is. And yes, I've talked about it a lot through the years, but not in this very focused way. Today, you're going to find out why you do what you do. Today, you're going to discover. I can't tell you what that is. Only you can discover it for yourself. But the why will always obliterate any how. That if your why is strong enough, every excuse that you have in your life, I don't have the money, my spouse won't let me, I've got too many kids, I don't have enough time, you know, there's no way that's going to work because nothing ever works out for me, you know, I, I, I never can afford it, we're always in a bind. Whatever excuse that you've come up with, oh, I have not enough education, or maybe I have, you know, too much education, or I have not enough education, or I'm too fat, or I'm too skinny, or I'm too tall, or I'm too short, whatever excuse you've created, oh, it's the government, you know, it's the Bush administration, or it's the Obama administration, it's going to be the Trump administration, or whatever the next administration is, we come up with all of these things, these excuses, these reasons, it's Obamacare has like soaked my money dry, and now I have all this medical debt, right? So So whatever it is that we come up with, it's my boss, my boss is a jerk and never recognized what I do. Whatever excuse you've come up with, it's because your why is not strong enough. You have not identified yet why you're on this earth. You haven't identified why you're doing the work you're doing. You haven't identified why if you started a business. Why did you start that business? Why was it important to do it? Why was it important to make that risk, to take that risk, to take the risk of time and even the risk of embarrassment and the risk of money to start that business? Let's discover your why today. We're going to do that by hearing what other people have found to be what their why is. And I think I'm going to press on them a little even deeper on that. There's a quote by Friedrich Nietzsche that says this, If you know the why, you can endure almost any how. And that I have found to be true in my life. So we're going to go over to the phones. And we've got some precious people who are willing to put their neck on the line to share what their why is. First, we're going to go to New York. We've got Louise from New York. Hi, Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Okay, lady. So you answered a post that we wrote on Facebook about finding your why, what motivates you. So what is that for you? That's the living for Jesus. My husband and I, he's, my husband is a pastor and we're going to be pending, pending us selling our house here, and 
buying a house over there. It's uh, in another state. We're going to be, he's going to be a pastor out there. Nice. And we're making, we're putting everything out there and moving out in faith and believe in God that we're going to be serving this community that's been hard hit yep. with unemployment. It's a very small church, mm-hmm. but they're full of love. Mm-hmm. And we want to serve God. That's that's our that's what motivates us. He wants to live and work full time for the Lord. So this here's what I want to ask you, Luis, because hearing other people's why and mm-hmm. what motivates another person oftentimes can spur someone else in finding theirs. So when you say, I want to live for Jesus, you know, millions of people have said that, but they live crappy lives. Right. Right? They're mean. They're judgmental. They're ruthless. They lie. They cheat. They steal. I hate to tell you, I've been in the business community for almost three decades, and I can tell you the general consensus of people who follow Jesus in the business community is don't hire those people. They're the biggest flakes on earth. They they cheat. They they don't feel led by the Holy Spirit to show up to work today. They 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 slack. They 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 don't actually do the job that needs to be done. And so I, I know that you can't possibly be that person. No. So I want to dig a little deeper on when you say I living for Jesus is my why. That's why I'm moving away from New York. And that's why I'm moving into a community that uh, well, has been hit hard by the community. What's that? He was posi- he got this position. But that doesn't that's he. he that's he. I, I'm not talking about your husband. I'm talking oh. about you. Okay, your husband's not here talking for himself, so we can't possibly speak for him as to what his why is. So I want you to think about this. Why are you doing this? And when you say that I want to live for Jesus, why? Why do you? And I want to hear it without scripture. I want to hear it without the trained uh, scholarly answer. (laughs) Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's get real, Louis. Let's get Louise. Re- Louise. Let's get <laughs> real. Okay? L- why? Why do you want to live for Jesus? I feel led to serve. No, 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 no. Okay, listen, hold on. We are going to take a break right now, and I'm going to give you a few minutes to think about that answer. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Is your faith your why or your excuse? Buckle up. Danny's going to make you think about what you believe. Put the Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. And I'm so blessed that I found what is in Grooming the Next Generation for Success. This is a book that is being taught in universities around the world. It's been noted as the best book on parenting that has ever been written. Crazy, if you ask me. But the point is that this thing gets results. Get your copy today, 888-757-8880. Again, that's 888-757-8880. Or go to dannyjohnson.com. That's D-A-N-I johnson.com. Get your copy today. 
Did you know you can take The Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the DannyJohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. Helping you become all you were meant to be. This is The Danny Johnson Show. I feel led. A statement, largely, that many religious people use. They use it as an excuse. They use it as a Band-Aid. They use it um, conveniently. Well, I am his helpmate. Your husband's helpmate. Right, and I yes. do have to go where he goes. Oh, did you hear the word have to? You still, you still, no, that's a choice. There are some women that choose not to. I choose to follow him. That's right. So why? He is the head of the household. But you told me not to use any scripture, so I can't. (laughs) I just want to have a real conversation. That's all. But I'm still not getting to your why. Why do you want to follow Jesus? I didn't ask he you why me. you were moving. I asked you well, said the answer was me. to follow he, Jesus. He has gotten me through so much, and the word is so much hell. He has gotten me through. Like what, Louise? It wasn't, like what? Well, like you, I was abused throughout my life. Um, bad relationships, not only my family. Yeah. Boyfriends, friends, everything. It, it, he's gotten me through. Without him, I couldn't make it. Especially this past year. So where were you without him? Oh, I was bad. I was in trouble. I wouldn't have been alive now. Come on. What do you mean you were bad and you were in trouble? I want to hear the nitty-gritty. Give me it. Give me it. I want all of it. (laughs) Well, I was drinking. I was um, smoking. I was out there being promiscuous. and. What do you mean promiscuous, Louise? Come on. (laughs) Speak to those who can relate. (laughs) I was sleeping around. Oh, how many guys did you sleep with? Who did you sleep with? Did you get count. paid? Oh, no, 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 no. I lost count. You lost count. Yeah. So you were a little whore like me. <laughs> but God got me out of that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That you met f- my husband at the altar. Yeah. Hold on, Hold, which is so awesome. So here, your father in heaven sends his beautiful, perfect, sinless son to a whore and an alcoholic. Wow. You got me so. Yes. And you no longer no, are an alcoholic that. and you no longer are a whore. Nope. So why do you want to go to this community that has been hit hard by a bad economy? There's a lot of loving people over there that need Jesus. They need to hear it. They need to know about him and need my testimony. Yes. They need my husband's testimony. They need to know that there's a Jesus that loves them. Yes. No matter how many times they've screwed up, right? Mm-hmm. No matter how many drinks they've drank that is too many, no matter how many people they've slept with that was too many. But the lover of their soul has come to rescue and redeem them. Don't lose sight of that. Don't lose sight. So many people, pastors and servants of the Most High, lose sight of their why. The why It's because of how you were suffering and failing and outcasted and destroying yourself, physically destroying yourself. And now he, who should have never come, came and rescued you and loved you exactly where you were. Don't get lost in a bunch of wonderful talkings and teachings and just share that story with the hurting and the abused and the suffering. That's the why. The why is to become a great orator. The why is not to become a great pastor's wife. The why is to spread the love that was given freely to you. 
That's enough to get me out of bed in the morning. And I think it's enough to get you out of bed in the morning. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that call tremendously. We're talking about our why. We're talking about getting down underneath the surface level of what we feel comfortable talking about. Oftentimes, a why is birthed out of our failures. The thing that motivates us most can be birthed out of our pain and out of our suffering because it's there where we can identify with everyone else that is suffering. And there are millions of people suffering right now all over the world, millions of them. Whether they're suffering with the frustration of like one of our clients who had written a software program for himself and he has been thinking about starting a business with it, but just not sure if it's going to work. Even though everyone he shared it with and every company he shared it with, it has succeeded greatly. He forgot about why he created it. We are going to discover your why today. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. So I just want to give you a little bit of my story. Uh, this is my first time sharing my story on stage, so I'm a little nervous. But I'm excited. I was just asked, like, seriously, three minutes ago to share my story. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, so my name, like, like Ray said, my name is Keridan Roundy. I am from Wyoming. Is there anyone else from Wyoming here? Yeah! I was thinking, I'm like, I think I'm the only one that I've met from Wyoming. That's cool. I'm glad. <laughs> um, so prior to plugging into Danny Johnson and First Steps to Success, my husband and I were completely drowning in debt. We got this new job and we increased our income, so we increased our way of living, which is what, what happens. And we were young, we were just married, and we completely bought more than we needed. We bought a new house, we bought, we already had a truck loan, we bought a new car, we just, we lived to the max. And we, started to, our marriage started to struggle, and we got to where all of our fights were about money constantly, and uh, my husband had a really good job, so we had plenty of money. That was not the issue. It was that we never kept any of it. We spent it on stuff we didn't need, so um, just a little bit of background. It's just my husband and I, we have no kids, and we bought a six-bedroom house. <laughs> I know. Well, that's just, we, we had the money. The bank told us we had the money we could, so we did. And so obviously we spent the money to fill those rooms in that house <laughs> on stuff we didn't need. So um, anyways, we just, our marriage was failing. I mean, we were young, we just got married and all of our fights were over stupid stuff that was unnecessary. And so um, I remember one time, just like a, like a quick little look into what it was like. I remember one time sitting in front of our fireplace, our nice fireplace in our nice house, and we were fighting over how we were gonna pay for Christmas for our families. And that was the eye opener for us, that something had to change. And so we made a decision and um, I started a business and that's what actually opened me up to dannyjohnson.com and to First Steps to Success. And so after coming out of First Steps to Success, we have now been able to pay off, this is crazy, we have now been able to pay off just over $300,000. Which is completely crazy because we just thought debt was something that you live with. You know, you, you're always gonna have a mortgage, you're always going to have a house payment, you know, car payments. That's just the way life goes. And little did we know that that's not the case. <laughs> um, so we now live in a smaller house. Uh, we love it. 
we actually, uh, I have less house to clean, which I'm good with. <laughs> and we live so much more simple. And our marriage is completely turned around. We no longer fight about money. We wonder what, where we're going to invest into next and how soon we're going to get, you know, the mortgage paid off. And uh, that's exciting to us. So everything's just completely changed. And, you know, the relationships that we've been able to to grow with other people that are wondering what we're doing. That's been amazing because we've met so many great people and learning what Danny's going to teach this afternoon has helped us grow to being people, people, people <laughs> more than anything. And that like we, we hated people before, both of us. Like we just, we didn't, we never had those skills. And so I'm really excited for this afternoon. This afternoon's going to be completely transforming to you. Um, as far as being, like she mentioned this morning, you know, like your business is people, your business isn't your product. And so um, with that being said, I just want to have you help me welcome back my mentor and America's favorite millionaire, Danny Johnson. <laughs> The way you look at things is about to change. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. Danny, I'm too busy to think about what motivates me or why I do what I do. I do everything I do because I have to. And my friend, if that is your statement, you couldn't be further from the truth. You couldn't be more wrong. And because you're digging your heels in the ground on that very belief, you're living a life of dissatisfaction, discontent, maybe even striving and frustration, just existing every day, just existing. So many people are afraid to dream. They're afraid to believe because they once did and their balloon got popped. The air left it and it was over. They were embarrassed because they told everyone they were going to do something and it didn't happen the way they thought it should. They maybe lost some money and lost some time, so they find themselves in a rut, just stuck, even, I would say, trapped, like literally trapped, tied to a pole, handcuffed to something they don't want to be handcuffed to. So many find themselves there, but you know what? You've tuned into The Danny Johnson Show for a reason, and today that reason is going to become very, very clear. Today's show has such a great purpose, as I believe every show that we do has a great purpose, but today's show has such a great purpose in helping you discover why you are doing what you do. Because if your why is strong enough, as I've said for the last almost three decades, the how will work itself out. Come on, think about it. How in the world did a broke, homeless, whore, druggy, suicidal cocktail waitress become a millionaire in two years. Yes, that was me 26 years ago. How did that happen? Did I know how? No. In fact, I have to tell you, most of everything I've ever done in my life, I did not know how to do. But I'm telling you, the why that burns inside of me has pushed me beyond the how. And the how has always, always worked itself out. Always. It has never not worked itself out. In fact... <laughs> You know, right now, one of my big dreams is building a thousand homes for the extreme poor. And I mean a thousand homes for the extreme, extreme, extreme poor. People who have no water in their home, no electricity. They don't even have a home. It is a structure that's been put together from particles that came from the dump. What you threw away, these people have pulled together and created a dwelling out of it. Plastic, old sheets paper bags, cardboard that you threw away from your last shipment from Amazon.com or Zappos.com. Do you know what I'm saying? And these people have created a dwelling for them and their three children. They're scrummaging through the dump site to find an old piece of chicken that might have just a little tiny piece of meat on it so that someone can eat today. Trying to find plastic so they can collect enough of it that's 100 pounds so they can make $3. Do you know how many pieces of plastic it takes to make 100 pounds? A lot of water bottles. And that's somebody's reality. And man, when that first hit my spirit, when I first experienced that, and I saw that in my first trip to this dump site, 
Everything brewed inside of me, and I was furious at what I saw. And the dream of a thousand homes was birthed. But how in the world am I going to do that? Yes, I know 100% of the profits from our company go straight to projects like that, and I take no salary so more houses can get built. However, still the question is like, how? How is that going to happen? How are we going to pull all that together? How are we going to find the thousand people that need the homes? How are we going to find the people going to build the homes? How are we going to find the people that help to donate to the homes? How, 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 how? The how doesn't matter when your why is strong enough. And a lot of people lose sight of their why. Speaking of which, if you've joined us on this project, you know that we have, ha- we have enough now to, to build 800 homes. 500 are totally done, and we did that in two short years. This is the year that we will build 500 more completed. In 12 months, 500 homes will be completed. We are almost completely finished with the money that is necessary to build those homes. So if you are one of those that have jumped on this vision with us, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Not a thank you from me, but a thank you from Natalia, who's four years old, who now is in a home instead of in plastic. She now has a totally different future. She now is in a community where she's going to be able to go to school, where she wasn't going to have the chance to go to school before. Poverty stops right here with The Danny Johnson Show, and it stops right here with you because you've been helping. You've been spreading the word. You might have been like Deke and his sister, Joy. Uh, Sorry, Hope. Uh, Mom's name is Joy who raised enough $42,000 to build nine homes and inspired a group of entrepreneurs who gave $500,000 in 30 minutes. That was a 13 and an eight-year-old who started a little business selling truffles, little natural truffles, raising money to build homes. If you, and if, if you've done, if you've given $5, thank you on behalf of Joanna, who now has the safety and the comfort of home and water and electricity that she can bring to her newborn baby. Her newborn baby isn't being born in scrap wood and trash. Thank you on behalf of Pablo that he now has a place to present to his wife and his son that is safe, that is safe. And that's because of what you've done. And if you're hearing about this for the first time, you're like, how do I get involved? If that's you, Go to kingsransom.org. Again, that's kingsransom.org. Kingsransom.org. You'll see it, 1,000 homes. Right on the homepage, click on that. It'll bring you to the page of where we have an incredible community, over 10,000 people who have given sacrificially to help somebody have what we take for granted every single day. Yep, shelter. We take for granted every day. We don't even clean it. We complain about it. We wish we had a bigger one. But here, these people would do anything just to have a tiny little one, just a tiny little one. And you can help them do it. It only costs $5,200 to build a home. So you just discovered what my why is. <laughs> my why is helping those who cannot help themselves. And if I don't get out of bed today and do something about their living conditions, who else will? That's mine. But let's discover yours. We're going over the phones because sometimes when you hear what somebody else's why is, it helps you to discover what yours is. Because if your why is big enough, the how always works itself out. So we're going over here to Lauren from Indiana. Lauren, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hi. Hi, thank you. So what's your why? You're killing it, Danny. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, (laughs) My why, can I give you my why for my children and my why for my business? My why for my family? I have two Um, my wife or my, my children is to just impact them on a daily basis, um, for generations to come. What does that mean? That's so general. That's not enough to, to, to go through the problems you will go through with your children. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I hate to tell you, Lauren, that's really weak suck to be honest with you. Okay. So let's get real. What's what do you mean, life? impact your children? <laughs> How? How are you any different than the mother to your left and to your right, your neighbors and across the street? Right. Yeah, good question. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to just be going through the motions every day. Um, I get to, I have the privilege to homeschool my children. And so I want to make each day count so that they can remember it. Um, for when they leave our house, I always think about... So does, what does that mean? They get like jelly dinner. bellies every day and, and gummy no. worms, and <laughs> they get to watch no. Dora the Explorer instead of doing learning anything? Come on, honey. Right. Let's get deeper. 
Why do okay, you so why do have, you want to impact your kids? Great. I have a vision. I want to be a sending mom. So I want to send my kids out. Um, so every single day I want to equip them with good training, good teaching in scripture, in their schoolwork, in serving others. I want them to think more about others than themselves. I want to Okay, hold on. Time, time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out. So what I'm hearing, I'm hearing this other woman say, so she basically want to raise religious bigots. <laughs> That's what I can hear. Another woman saying right now that she's hearing you talk. So I, I want you to get rid of all of our society's terms and all of our religious terms and all of our society's, our Christian part of the society that says, this means you're a good mom. If your kids can recite the Bible and they treat right. people good, then they're a good mom. I'm sorry that somebody else's definition of success. I'm not saying that if your kids can re- recite scripture that they're not good. But I am saying there's a lot of good kids out there that don't even that have never even heard the Bible, that are amazing Absolutely. human beings who have done amazing things in the world. So we're going to go deeper, Lauren. We need to go deeper. Okay. I want you I'm to ready. get rid of <laughs> every religious term. I want you because it's religious. It's not biblical. It's religious. Okay, you won't find anywhere in the Bible where it says, "Thou shalt teach your children to recite scriptures, and therefore they will be a success." It doesn't say that in there. Okay, <laughs> nowhere will you find that passage. Okay, so I've read it thirteen times straight through, and I've studied specifically about children, and it doesn't give that instruction. Okay, so we're going to take a break, and I want you to get underneath it all. Let's okay. rip off the covers. And let's get naked on this conversation. Why do you want to equip your children to succeed? And what does that look like? This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more in finding your why for your success and your children's success right after this. Has Danny shaken your beliefs to the core yet? It's time to get real on The Danny Johnson Show. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. My name is Andres and I'm from Latvia. Prior to plugging into dannyjohnson.com, I was a struggling English teacher back home. I had a language school that I started when I was 21 and uh, had grown it uh, to be pretty okay in my city. But at the same time, I had uh, acquired a debt of $60,000. In a matter of eight to nine months, I got rid of my debt. And by 2011, we had our first million dollar year. This has been amazing. We grew our school from about 100 students to 2,000 students and I can only highly recommend for you to come to the next event and be part of this community and learn the tools that will help you to succeed. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, my family and I were hemorrhaging under the pressures of debt. Since attending First Steps to Success in January of 2014, my family and I have paid off over $147,000 in 19 months. We're completely consumer debt free. We have restored relationships and our business is growing at a rate of 15% at every event. Your next Next step is to sign up for the next First Steps to Success and start creating your own story. My name is Jeff Conyers and prior to First Steps to Success, I was a struggling business owner. I had discovered that my business account went negative 5,000 and uh, I, feel, I realized that I did not have a business plan and I needed to do something. Fast forward to one year after, I have now created, um, just by implementing the tools at First Steps to Success, uh, over $50,000 created another their business, improved my personal and business relationships. Man, it's like the story is forever changing and just it just gets better and better. I don't know about you or what you're going through, but I would highly recommend getting to First Steps to Success. Prior to plugging into First Steps to Success, we were drowning under a mountain of debt. We we're heading to divorce court. We had failing businesses and toxic relationships. Since plugging into First Steps to Success, our marriage has been restored. We have paid off over $56,000 in 11 months. We've helped our community pay off over $300,000 in 14 months. My business has grown in over 600% in four months. And for the first time, I can say I'm just loving life. I have great relationships. So if you are 
find where you are, then this event is not for you. But if you're ready to reach your goal and to change your life, then I highly recommend that you get registered for the next event. Hi, my name is Jill Kearns. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Prior to coming to First Steps to Success, uh, my husband and I were struggling financially and were uh, hurting um, in our relationship a lot. Uh, we needed um, more time together and we just were struggling with that because of the finances. And so uh, since plugging in, we've actually paid off over $280,000 in debt. We are completely debt free and more than anything else the look on my husband's face of relief and um, an excitement about where our future lies and the traveling and the fun enjoyable times that we'll get to spend together as a family is totally worth it. So if you want to have better relationships with your significant other, your children, if you have a desire to um, to be completely debt free and released from that bondage for whatever reason, uh, whatever the burdens are, your next step is to get to First Steps to Success right now. So prior to getting started to DannyJohnson.com, I was a college dropout. I was working a, a bottom of the barrel type job. I started plugging into her training. Um, I've skyrocketed through the ranks of Corporate America. I've tripled my income in the last five years. Uh, that's all fine and Danny, but it wasn't, uh, there's a part of me that had a part missing. So um, I ended up using Danny's prospecting skills and I ended up meeting the love of my life. Uh, since then, we've paid off $32,000 of debt since October 2014. Uh, so get here, get here now. This is the greatest thing ever. You have to see this. The, the skills and strategies Danny teaches are unbelievable. They totally took someone like me with no education and helped me just like multiply my efforts. So you need to be here. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider Member today and get on the fast track to success. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. So many of us have allowed so many commentators to put so much nonsense into our heads. They've given us terms that are ambiguous, that are loose, that have no structure, that are not defined, that are not specific. And we have a tendency of just kind of going after those things. And we build a life of emptiness. We get at the end of it and we go, what the heck happened? It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Let me tell you something. Nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes uh, specific. And if you want true success in your life, you got to get really specific, granularly specific on why you're doing what you do. So we have Lauren joining us from Indiana. She's a precious listener of the Danny Johnson Show. Put her neck on the line for all of us and discovering <laughs> her why. We're just going to get through the one on the kids. So we're getting naked under the covers. What is it? Why do you want to equip your kids? Um, I want them to grow up and with purpose. What's that? I feel like that's still ambiguous. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, Danny. Why? Um. Hmm. I need more questions from you because no, I'm you so, just need to answer I'm why. In the headlights, right here. Why? Because I want them to, I want them to have, oh, that's still ambiguous. Keep going. I want them to, I want them to be world changers. I want them to impact the culture. Why? For, what needs to change? Why does the culture need to be changed by your kids? Because the culture believes a lot of lies. What are the I lies? Want my children to be, um, that, you know, success is through whatever name it, money, uh, position, power, um, How do you know that's what the culture is? Did you bite that hook and attempt on that path? I, no, but I see that in our media and on movies. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I just, I want my children to be different. I want them to 
stand for truth. Um, I want them to communicate truth. I want them to live truth. I want them to live authentically. Why? Because I want them to be blessed. I want them to walk in blessing. I want them to, that's still probably too ambiguous. You're going somewhere though. Why? Okay. I want them to, I want them to live a life that is really, truly fulfilling. Um, this all sounds like Disneyland. Okay. Well, I don't want them to live at Disneyland. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I don't know what you're getting at, Danny. <laughs> sounds to me like There's you don't want them. Sounds to me like you don't want them to fail. I never thought about it that way. Um, you don't want them to suffer. You don't want them to fail. You don't want them to go through hard times. Well, but I know they're going to go through hard times. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. I can't raise them just to protect them from hard times. I want to equip them with character yeah. for when they go through hard times. There we go. Um, Why? Because I want them to. Ha- I want them to be real, mature people. <laughs> I want them to. Um, I don't want them to look like everybody else in Hollywood or, you know, the the generation that they're in. Um, which sounds really negative, but <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the negative. There's nothing wrong with the ne- negative. Let me tell you what the negative yeah. does. It's true. The negative gives contrast. Without negative, there is no contrast. Right. 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 And I don't want them to look like everybody else. I don't. I and so then you have to define out. what does everybody else look like in order for you to define what you want them to look like. And here's the reality, Lauren. At the end of the day, you don't want to fail as a mom. No, I definitely don't. I have a very specific calling on my life as a mother. I don't want to waste it. (laughs) Yep. I remember when I got pregnant with my first child three weeks after I got married and was in total shock, had no clue what was happening. I did not mean to get pregnant that quickly, but I just knew, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to raise up leaders. I'm supposed to raise up a generation who's going to really do something with their lives and, and not just live status quo. Yep. But if the something doesn't get defined and you don't live out the something yourself, right? The kids will never become anywhere near what you're thinking. The reality is you cannot control anyone else ever. You'll never control what your children do. You control the information that you put into them and you control how you personally live out that information. Right. Amen. That's the bottom line. So I believe you're passionate about your kids, and I believe that there's more granular to get, and don't be afraid of defining the negative. Don't be afraid of that. But at the same time, because it produces a contrast, and there's going to be times where your kids are going to do the opposite of what you want them to do. That's the reality. And the question is, is mama ready for that? Right. Is mama ready for that? And is the real why because you don't want to fail as a mom? So if you produce perfect kids, then you're a good mom. But when your kids swallow the stupid pill that you swallowed, (laughs) that your husband swallowed, that your neighbors swallowed, all of us get to swallow it, every last one of us, (sighs) then how you doing as a mom? Your identity cannot be in being a mom. Right. So search a little deeper about defining who you are as a mother. And who you are as a mother um, is what you can control. Who your kids become, you have absolutely no control over. None at all. None at all. So there you have it. Thanks so much, Lauren, for your input. Thanks for putting your neck on the line. Thank you for this healthy discussion. And I'm excited to see what you come up with about your why as a mother (laughs) versus your why of what you want to control for your children. Because you can't control anything for them. You're so welcome. God bless you. Okay, next we've got Melissa Mason from Florida. Melissa, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. What's your why? 
Well, it would be my three kids. Of course, I'm a little scared now that I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm a single mom with three girls, mm. and they are my why I do everything. Uh, why? You know, started my life over, I started my life over at 41, and, you know, just me and my kids. And I don't ever want my kids to not be able to take care of themselves. Yeah. And so just as we have rebuilt our lives and gotten, you know, in the process of getting back on our feet, and, and um we're take, currently taking care of my brother as he walks through a cancer battle mm. and being able just to, you know, teach my kids to take care of themselves financially, physically, you know, spiritually, the whole gamut, but to never feel like they can't yep. do something, yep. you know, when something hard hits them yes. and um, not give up. Yeah. So the question I have for you, Melissa, is that when your kids choose to forget all that you sacrificed for them. And when they choose to forget all that you taught them, is your why strong enough to keep you going? Absolutely. How do you know? I want you to, I don't want you to answer it that fast. I want you to really ponder on that. That when they turn around and they give you the proverbial finger, as we see many do, <laughs> in the church and out of the church, is your why still strong enough? to keep you going. Just think about that. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Be sure to tell a friend about the Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. Did you know you can take the Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the dannyjohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. And the most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-888-0 for Time Secrets. 
Put The Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. It's time for a checkup from the neck up. This is The Danny Johnson Show. If your why is big enough, it'll push you past the hard times in life. Harlan from Indiana, what would you say is your why? Um, man, um, what's my why? Well, okay, uh, okay, my why is um, just like, um, I was thinking the other day of like, you know, if um, if I come to the end of my life and, um, you know, don't do something with my life, mm-hmm. like if I, if I don't. Um, but Harlan, tomorrow I, could be that end of your life. You have no control over when your last day is. So when should you start? Now. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. your why is you don't want to have regret. Yeah, and like... You don't I, want to waste your time here on earth. You don't want to be that person who has the I wish I would have, could have, should us. Next week might be the last day. So what would have, could have, should us would you be holding in your hand? Something to think about. You see, your why makes you take action now. If you haven't found your why, chances are you're not taking any action. Chances are we're still thinking, to contemplate, to reevaluate, to consider, and talking. And mere words lead to poverty. But it's action that leads to results. I think it's a great statement. I don't want to come to the end of my life and wish I would have done things differently. Well, tomorrow could be the end of the life. What would we change today? And why would we change it? I hope you enjoyed today's program. Please come and say hello on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. That's also where you'll find this incredibly dynamic community of people who are paying off all of their debt in five to seven years, becoming debt-free. They're growing, doubling, tripling, quadrupling their income. Some of them going from poverty up to six figures, and some of them have become millionaires. You'll find a community of people who are keeping their family first, having an awesome, passionate, harmonious marriage, at least working towards it and working through all that junk that has stopped them from living the life that they want to live, learning how to raise up the next generation of children that will lead by awesome character, restoring the entrepreneurial spirit, not going into the bondage of debt, but living a life of true freedom. That community you can find on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, Danny Johnson Live. That's one N and an I, Danny Johnson Live. Also, if you have not yet visited our website, dannyjohnson.com or destinyglobal.com, come on over to that website. You can find all our past shows, just like this one, as well as free content, articles, and reports to help you succeed in every single area of your life that you want to have success in. That's destinyglobal.com and dannyjohnson.com, same website. Go over there and start partaking in a bunch of free materials that can help change your life. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue and see you tomorrow. Bye. If this episode was an encouragement to you, go to dannyjohnson.com and share it with your friends now. You never know who else needs to hear it. This has been The Danny Johnson Show. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted.